Praise the Lord, precious viewers. Today, again, is March 15, 2018. And today, the Lord God Almighty, Jehovah Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, my Father, gave me a vision. And He shows me, He shows me in the vision a city. I see the city and I see the buildings. I see a city and I see the buildings. And overhead, in the sky there, in the air, in the air above that city, I see what what I see the head that looks like the head of a king of Egypt. I just see the head, I don't see the body of that personality. I don't see the body of that personality. I just see the head and the head presented. Over that city that I'm looking at, the head presented in the air over that city is the head of a prince of Egypt, a king of Egypt, the way that they used to wear those things on their head back in the days, in ancient times. If you ever look on, 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 on Google and you, you type in king of Egypt, you're going to see what, how they dress, how they, their head, their headwear, the stuff they put on their head that, that, uh, that um that lets you know that they are a king and the king of Egypt. That is what I see hanging over in the air, hanging over the city. And I live in the United States of America. I live in the U.S. So when God shows me stuff like that, He is speaking about where I live. He's speaking about the U.S. So this is a revelation. Especially for the church. The church may be able to understand that. Somebody that is uh, the, uh, the church. If you're born again. If you're a born again Christian. You know what the Lord is saying. In that vision I just tell you. You can understand what the Lord is saying. Even before I give you uh, the revelation. The understanding. You can already know what God is saying. If you read the scriptures. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6. The word of God says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, uh, against powers of darkness in high places. In high places. The prince of the air. It's talking about the, the nation of the U.S. is wrestling against a prince of the air who looks like a king of Egypt. A prince of the air that is like the king of Egypt. That's who the nation is. That's who I see in the over the head, hanging over the, the, the city. He has the head of a king of Egypt. That's what I see in the vision today. March 15, 2018. That is who the church is up against. That is the battle that this nation is fighting. I'm letting you know today who you're fighting. Who, this nation has a prince, a principality that is hanging overhead. And it's a prince of the air, and, it, and he, he has the countenance, the basically the, 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 the kingly attire of a king of Egypt. A king of Egypt. That's what I saw in the vision. That means the church needs to intercede for, the, for this nation, USA. And I'm not saying any church. I'm talking about the holy church. Those who have repented. Because you, can, you cannot intercede for this nation if you do not repent. You will be killed in the battle. You will be killed in the battle. You know? Because the princes of the air, they're ferocious. You know, they're the highest rank. They're one of the most highly ranked officials of the devil. Of the satanic kingdom. You know? If you do not walk in holiness... You cannot intercede. You know, you must first repent of your sins, turn away from sin, walk with God, and, uh, and, and put on yourself the whole armor of God so you can go do spiritual warfare for yourself, for the nation, and for everyone involved. The nation needs to first repent. The church needs to first repent. We all need to first repent so we may be able to carry on the spiritual warfare against this principality, against the king of Egypt hanging overhead over the city 
of the U.S. The principal, there is a principality controlling the nations. Another revelation I want to give you is if, they, if you know anything about the kings of Egypt, they were idol worshippers. Idol worshippers. So what I'm seeing here is an 